said, I've gotten a lot of questions on what I do for skincare, what my makeup routine is, and let me preface this by saying that I am obviously by no means um, a makeup artist at all. Uh, I'm very, very basic when it comes to my makeup routine. I don't like to wear a lot of makeup. I don't know how to wear a lot of makeup. I'm just gonna go over some of my favorites, my go-tos, uh, just for a simple everyday look that I like to do. Something that's not super heavy. I'll show you guys uh, some of my favorites. But I'm gonna start first with skincare. It's something that I started to take really seriously um, as of recent. As we get older as women, our hormones start to change. And what that did for me, I saw a huge change in my skin. And it wasn't for the better. This past summer, I would say my skin was at its all time worst. Um, I don't know if there was just huge fluctuations in my hormones, but um, it got really, really bad. Like to the point where um, I was so self-conscious. Like I would sometimes look in the mirror and I didn't even know who I was. Like I would cry. Um, and at that point, um, I really, really started to take my skincare very seriously. I started getting regular medical grade facials. I also was doing laser treatments on my skin. Um, one of them is called the Spectra Laser, and what it does is it actually stops production of sebum in the skin, and when your skin is overproducing sebum, that is what actually um, creates acne. So, um, I did a series of those. They were really expensive, but honestly, it saved my skin. Um, and since then, I've just been maintaining uh, by doing regular facials. Um, I do a hydrafacial, which I absolutely love. The first thing I use after cleansing my skin is a toner. And I really like uh, the Mario Betascu, the special cucumber lotion. It is a super, super light and refreshing toner and helps to get rid of anything left over after you cleanse your skin and balance the pH levels in your skin. After uh, toning my skin, um, I swear by this product. This is like my ride or die. I really love the Truth Serum by Ole Henriksen. After I tone, I do a little bit of this and all over the face, it's just a really, really nice Vitamin C brightener helps to smoothen your skin and reduce the appearance of aging. This is another favorite and you can clearly see that I love this product because I opened it, um, I used most of it and then I wanted to get the rest out so I cut it open and now I'm like digging my fingers and so I think it's time for a new one. Light tinted moisturizer but it also has an SPF in it. It's SPF 40 I believe, yes and it's water resistant as well. So it's like the best of all worlds. After I exfoliate, I will do uh, this lemon strip flash peel. And it's good for all skin types and you only have to leave it on for five or 10 minutes and then you just rinse it off. And I swear your skin looks like you just had a facial. And those bumps and little red acne bumps that are more like surface type acne, this is another ride or die product. I cannot live without this. It is the drying lotion. And then you just dab that right onto those little bumps and then you wear it to bed overnight. It is pink, so if you're trying to impress someone at nighttime, this is not the uh, lotion that you wanna put on your face, but uh, it works. If your man wants you to have clear skin, he won't mind if you go to sleep with a bunch of pink dots all over your face. 